Yesterday, I read this book to you. Remember that? Yeah. What did you think about this book? Not really good. Not really. It was good. good. So let's. We've. I right away. I hear a lot of opinions. So let's have a show of hands, and we can do a knowledge building discussion. What did you think, Isla? I think it was beautiful. Ooh, why did you just think that? The way how it wrote, how it was written, how the drawings were. It just. You really liked the way yeah. the drawings looked in the illustration. Oh. Um, I liked it because, um, well, I kind of think, I, I'm guessing that instead of Stardust, you're, you, you're born in a store. So, so the biggest store is the, the baby that's going to come out first, and then there's lots of small ones that are not going to come out, and then there's another one that's big. Would it be important to know about Stardust, do you think? Did you have this one for me? Yes, Jim. Um, it's just kind of weird that um, star, it's called Star. You are Stardust mm -hmm. because Stardust isn't is a pretty rare thing because I've never heard anything. I've never heard that word. So this is new to you. This idea is new. I love. Actually. Without Star Dead, then uh, you couldn't have been alive. What? Can I just say aloud what you whispered? The Big Bang. The Big Bang? What does that mean? It's a star that was so big that it exploded and made, and it made all the planets. planets. Oh. So all it was so big that the stardust was like gigantic. Okay. It was huge. It was like all the planets put together. It was huge. Okay. And that's how, that's how planet Earth. That's how pl planet Earth came? Yeah. Diego? I noticed that that whale was made of string. Mm -hmm. We talked about the way and that the artwork was constructed in this See, book. Does anybody string. remember? Yeah, it's a diorama. Diorama. What's a diorama again? It's a diorama. It's a you take a box and like you put like an eagle. This is just like mm -hmm. something. An mm -hmm. eagle an chasing a pigeon. Mm -hmm. And then you take a picture and you put it in a book. Hmm. My question was that, um, you know how your face, it's mm -hmm. like soft and mm -hmm. your cheeks are soft? If then, um, then how can, then how can, um, then why doesn't it fall, then your face skin fall off? Does it fall off? Like, does your face skin fall off or does it stay? Do you have a Cindy, well. I'm adding on to Daniel. Oh, oh, okay. And then we can maybe get back to your question. And, well, you would, well, I just felt my head, mm -hmm. and it's not getting any weaker, and I've been doing that for the past four years, I think. So you and think it, that I know, but it keeps, it, it grows under, so, so you're feeling the skull that's under it, because the one is so weak that you, um, that you can barely, that, that you, like, that you can't feel it. Feel it. You won't hear anything because it's too because it's skull. too because it won't crack because there's it one right under it it's hard it will just fall it will just like it won't like break and like like and then like go into your stomach and like well like what daniel was saying like Put it in your stomach. You wouldn't actually have it digesting. You wouldn't see it. You wouldn't. It wouldn't be part it's of your digestion. It's too light. Yeah. Um. It's too light for you not to digest it. So if it fell in, it was. It's just like um, cutting paper by it, like this way and not and not this way. This way. So it gets even thinner. It's like breaking off a piece of that and then eating it. You. Oh, so very it, thin. Nothing will happen. You brought to this book an idea about the human body. So did this book help you think differently about the human body? Yeah. So in the book, um, in the page, in the page here, mm -hmm. when it um, when it said inside your brain, electricity is stronger than lightning powers your every thought. Um, it's not saying that there's actually lightning in your head. Okay. 
it's saying that electricity runs your body pretty much. And when you sneeze the force of a tornado, it means there isn't an actual tornado in your head. It's saying that it's pretty strong to other things. It's pretty strong in comparison to other things. And wind rockets from your nose quicker than a cheetah, cheetah sprint. It doesn't mean that there's actually a cheetah mm. running. It doesn't mean that all this stuff is in your head. Mm. Yeah, because a cheetah's not running in your head. Mm. Exactly. A it just do you sort of have to imagine what that it's, would be it's like? It's saying that it's, it's, it's like just saying how strong the forces are. We need to continue talking about this. I'm telling you right now. That was an amazing conversation. Who needs to go to the